Welcome back. Here's another loop example. This is uh, programming classic, code in, factorial. There's actually different ways you can code this one in, but I'm going to use a while loop for this one just to show you the while loop. You'll see here what factorial is. You know, you give a number, and then you basically just keep multiplying down the chain. So they enter 5, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. That ends up being 120. That's what we want our program to do for us, right? User enters a number. You'll see here I've already got the user enters the number part. That's perfect. And uh, I'm going to make a variable here called factorial and set it equal to 1. And now here comes my loop. Now I'm assuming the user's entered a number larger than 0. You guys actually know how you could use a loop to force that, but I'm just going to trust them here, save time, and start my while loop to actually do my factorial calculation. And what I want to do here is I want to say while the number is greater or equal to 1, I want to do something. So let's say they do enter this number 5. Num is greater than 1? Yes, it is. So what am I going to do? I'm going to say factorial equals factorial whoops, times I'll just jam it up there. Times num. So factorial started at 1. Now I'm going factorial equals 1 times 5. So now factorial is 5. Now, if I just left this as this is, and I keep running this code, well, this loop's going to go forever. Because num is still 5. It's going to check, do I have to run this code again? That's what the while loop does. And num is still 5, so 5 is bigger than 1. Yep. Multiply again. Go back up. Is 5 bigger than 1? Yes, it is. It's going to do it again. If you happen to code an endless loop, well, I'm going to show you an endless loop just so you know how to get out of this. Factorial. Run. I'm going to enter the number 5. And my program's all jammed up here. If you suspect your program is just endlessly going, you can see here loop examples one running there's a little stop button okay and one of them is right there okay cancel the process so we do want to cancel the process and there you go you're out of that endless loop but you know that would have just gone on forever right until the computer breaks so what have i missed out here of this answer i need to go num equals num minus one i need it to start going down right i want five to become four now it's 4. It hops up. Is 4 bigger than 1? Yep. Times by 4. Minus 1. Go back up. 3. Yep. Times by 3. Etc. Etc. And eventually you get to 0. Well, 0 is not greater or equal to 1. Don't do it. Okay? And you're out of the loop. And eventually when you get out of the loop, you can say factorial of... Whoops. I can't do that because I've changed num. Factorial is factorial. Okay, and it prints out the right factorial. Let's give it a quick go. 5, 120. Remember to test with a couple values, right? 3, good. And I'll test it with 1. 1 is 1. That's good. Remember, we are assuming they were entering a number larger than 1, right? Now, some of you math whizzes are probably looking at this going, hey, can't I take out that equal sign? And you know what? You can. You don't actually need num to go all the way down to 1, even though, you know, that's the same answer, right? That's still going to be 120. So I could actually save an extra loop just by taking out that equal sign. This doesn't affect the answer at all. Times in by 1 changes nothing. That's factorial, right? Getting a little trickier. We're really going to hit the good ones now with... Uh, a few of the last ones that are remaining here. So check those out. They're going to get a little bigger. Thanks for watching.